Art is, has been a way for me to really examine myself, my ways of growing and my needs in places where I need to grow more. One of the things I've had to deal with is perfectionism. When you work in stone, it just really doesn't exist because you don't know necessarily what's inside underneath there. My art form has taught me a lot about being more accepting. If an arm chips off, then all of a sudden it's a new piece and the piece has told me we're going a different direction. made a plan to go to Italy because I knew that I could get bigger stones there and I also wanted the experience of what it was like to work in the same area that like Michelangelo and these amazing sculptors had done years and years ago. I spent the summer of 2001 and I went there wanting to use my time the best way that I could so I made a little maquette and I started with a, a raw stone so when I got to uh, Pietra Santa, we went to quarries where we actually choose our rock. By the time I got back, it was, I had not even cut through, you know, any of it. I had been able to shape it out, and then I brought it back to my studio in Culver City, where it took me probably another, I'd say about nine months to finish it. It was really a labor of love, very feminine, and has the movement, but I love the abstraction, too. If I'm starting a new piece, sometimes I'll just start to like clean the piece and then I will find that the stone will start to talk to me. Really, truly to start every piece with enjoying the process of it and not as opposed to seeing necessarily what the form is and having to know immediately what is the result inside of it. I feel just very grateful that um, Madame Butterfly's here. I really do. Just looking at the labyrinth and MSIA and John Roger, John Morton, they've, they've been so amazing in my life and in my growth as a human being. I'm so thrilled to be able to gift her. It's a gift for me.